Hi everybody, before we get started, I just want to briefly cover what I'm going to talk about in this video so you can decide if you want to watch any further at this point. Mostly what I'm going to cover is how to install the hard drive in your Acer Aspire 1 computer, but also identifying the part, which for me was about 90% of the issue since there aren't currently a lot of sites out there that readily identify their hard drives as being Acer Aspire 1 compatible. So. Uh, whether you're upgrading your computer or replacing a faulty drive, this should be helpful for you. Now, hopefully, you never have your hard drive crash, but if it does, it can be extremely difficult to identify them, find the correct replacement part. Although there are some great sites out there that will show you how to replace the drive, they don't really tell you how to find the drive in the first place, and Acer doesn't currently readily offer up a part number, at least in my experience. As mentioned before, 90% of the fix for me was finding the right part. Now, despite how many of these computers have been sold, I was amazed that there really aren't any sites out there that really identify their hard drives as Aspire 1 compatible. So this can be very frustrating. So although I will include a brief how-to video on replacing the drive, the real value add here for anybody that's attempting to either upgrade or replace a faulty drive is in identifying the part and then kind of where to find it. All right, so let's get started. Uh, all you're going to need to do this repair is obviously your replacement hard drive. Now, this is actually my old one, but uh, the new one's in there already, so I just wanted to pull this out just to kind of show you what the part looks like. And also a small Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, before you get started, you should definitely unplug the computer, uh, probably pull the battery out. I, I am not actually a computer uh, repair techno geek, so uh, maybe pull the battery out just to be safe. Once you do that, uh, you flip the computer over and you can see that there's actually uh, several screws and ports back here. One of them, I believe this is for upgrading your RAM. Uh, not sure what this one is for, but we're just focusing on the hard drive today, so let's uh, get to that. Uh, there's two screws uh, that you need to take out. I've already done that just to kind of speed things up a little bit. Uh, you'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver. I just use the one that I use for my eyeglasses to take those screws off. Once you get that loosened up, the cover should pop off rather easily. Uh, make sure that it does come off easily. You don't want to break anything. These covers actually can be quite costly to uh, replace. Now, once you do that, those two screws were also actually holding the hard drive in place. All right, It's going to look like this. It's actually sitting in a chassis right now. Uh, but all you're going to need to do at that point is just take your thumb, and you can just, there's a little space right here, and you can just slide that back. There's a little tab, and it should just easily come right out, exposing the hard drive. Now, there's four screws, two on each side, one here, here. If you flip it over, you've got another one here and here that you're going to need to take off. I uh, assume that you guys don't need, <laughs> don't need any instructions on how to use a screwdriver, so I'll bypass that part. Uh, like I said, there are some uh, how-to videos on that, but it's rather simple. Uh, now, basically to the replacement part. Uh, I've actually got a Western Digital that I replaced in here when my hard drive crashed. I took the opportunity to just upgrade it from the stock 5400 RPM 160 uh, gigabyte drive, which was this one, into uh, a 7200 RPM 320 gigabyte drive. But I digress. Anyhow, this is what your hard drive actually looks like. Uh, the part that gets a little complicated when going to order it is you'll see pictures online and this is actually of my hard drive that looked like this. Now my hard drive looks nothing like that uh, when I actually look at the part. If you'll see it's actually got a case on it. So you want to not really pay too much attention to those. What you want to pay attention to is that you're buying a 2.5 inch hard drive. Okay, there's 3.5s out there. Uh, I know you definitely want to make sure that you get a 2.5 that's going to fit your netbook. Uh, and you want to pay particular attention to the dimensions of this. Uh, it's basically uh, 3.9 to 4 inches long, uh, 4 tenths to 5 tenths of an inch thick, and 2.8 inches wide. So that's the critical part. Hopefully this will help. One thing I neglected to mention during the video is where to find these parts. Amazon.com, for example, has these listed if you do a search under internal hard drive. To get more specific, you may want to type in SATA 2.5 or just 2.5. should get you to the section of their website which has these parts available. 
Again, the particular things that you want to pay attention to is that it is a 2.5 inch drive. Uh, the product dimensions you want to make sure so it fits in your hard drive bay are 3.9 inches long, 0.4 inches thick, and 2.8 inches wide. A lot of these sites have them listed with small, small, maybe tenth of an inch variations, but that's basically it. All right, good luck, everybody. Thanks for listening.